guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes three and four of Mahotsukai. <laughs> I always thought I was gonna say <laughs> Mahotsukai, pretty cute. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Oh my god, let's go ahead and get started with episode three. <laughs> in three, two, one, go. My poor words. <laughs> Yeah, just don't tell mom. Nah, me and I. So I am finally, because today was the only day that I could record this and Patreon, I am finally on vacation. So freaking happy. I can stay up. I can go to bed late. I can wake up late. I am so happy. And such, it's just going to be so funny because, um, yeah, I can't really talk about that because of reasons, but, um, Twitter. All I'll say is Twitter. Twitter and Snapchat, if you follow me on this. <laughs> if you know my situation, you know. But we're not going to talk about that. And it's not bad, it's good. We finally getting the best transformation. Well, yeah, the best transformation in my opinion today. Um, my second best might be episode four. If it's not, if it's not episode four, it has to be like episode five, and that's when they get Sapphire. Cause Topaz is kind of like my least favorite. And then of course, episodes later, the best girl comes. Right? It's always the grandmas. Always the grandmas. Oh, we go. Ain't this the episode where we're also going to meet those three girls as well? I remember like seeing the fact that they traveled by magic carpet thinking like that's a weird way to travel but hey whatever floats your boat Excuse me. Cotton candy. 
right? We're here to shop. Plus, you need a uniform, you know, and books and yeah, everything else. <laughs> mm-hmm like you know regular human standards <laughs> muffin I'm like oh my god get away from me <laughs> if only we could have something like that in real life where we didn't have to have someone to take her measurements but you know here magic doesn't exist here yep you get something too Well, she's currently hanging out with Rico, you know, mind your business. Oh, well, yeah, because, you know, um, Rico. <laughs> oh, Rico. It's okay, baby. It's all right. You're going to be a powerful magician one day, baby. One day. Well, I mean, because she has potential, you know. Mm, she's a pretty cure. <laughs> the fact that he could just eat that like that, bruh. <laughs> This one. Oh, Rico. <laughs> I 
Ajá. But baby, she is your friend. Really more of, she's your girlfriend. And by the end of the series, she's going to be your wife. And then we're going to get into season two. And they're going to be married. Yes! Yeah, but not for a good minute from now. Mm hmm. Baby, like, ugh. Mm -hmm. I mean, how you just, mm, well, yeah, you didn't give me the Sora vibes, you know, way before Sora was even thought of for Hiragato. But still, I mean, you, you're not as mm, reckless as Sora. Because Sora can sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. Well, see how it was so easy to just take the damn necklace. Now, remember when we had an episode where it was like super hard for one of the girls to transform because they didn't have a weapon? Imagine that. They both can't transform because they both need each other. That's the big issue. Can't have one without the other. Mm hmm. I also remember not liking her design at all. <laughs> I mean, it is interesting, but I was just like, mmm. I'm not feeling it. And, and looking at her again now, I'm still not feeling it. Not really. I mean, but thanks for asking, though. You need that. That's like your lifeline. Your, you know, rite of passage, you know, everything. To transform into the damn badass bet you are.
But the thing is, they don't know where it is right now. Or, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I'm not. Get the necklace. Get the necklace. Now this transformation, godlike. Like, oh uh, my. <laughs> One thing I will say, and I don't think I said it in episode one and two, you can clearly tell that the the group that was making this one, that Rico is the pro predominant fave because every outfit, every single outfit for her is like a 10 out of 10. And then when you compare it to Mirai's, you're like, yes, yours look good. But Rico, Rico. <laughs> I do also remember, like, the, <laughs> speaking of Rico, this situation of this outfit, because everybody thought it was a little too scandalous, and I was like, it's okay, <laughs> because they're not supposed to be that age, but I get it. And it's mainly because of the fact that she's wearing thigh highs. See, look how pretty they are. Oh my God. Okay, fine. Poor thing, oh my god. It kind of makes me want to have an orange now, but I have no oranges. <laughs>
Guess what? Your girlfriend gets one of my Oh my god! <laughs> I'm crying and choking right now. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. But yes, uh, seriously, the Ruby transformation is the best out of the, f what, four? Hold on. Diamond, Ruby, Topaz, Sapphire. Yeah, so in my opinion, if I have to say it now, and I'll probably end up saying it again when we get into the last two, it's Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, Topaz. I mean, Topaz is nice. It is, but when I saw it for the first time, and we'll probably go a little more in depth, even though it's been a very long time since I've seen the transformation. Um, like I said, I thought it was okay. I mean, music is good. The, the color is nice. The aesthetic pleasing moments are good. But when you're comparing it to the other three, you're like, yeah, this is like the weakling of the group. But it, it's still nice. It really is. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is babies went shopping? Got me nice stuff. Matching brooms with the ribbon and everything. Once again, this show is just signifying that they're couples. And, you know, secretly, even though in the end they did not get together, we're going to say that now, they got together. We all know it. I mean it. <laughs> it's like with Kira Kira, how everybody was like, no, they're not, like, <laughs> Yukari and Akira are not getting together. And I was like, um, who are you talking about? Yes, we're finally meeting them! Yay! Yay! Oh, this episode. Yeah, because it make it doesn't make sense to be like, oh yeah, back to back. Let's just give them two freaking Joels. No, we can't do that. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Can't do that just yet. But I mean, yeah, like seriously, when <laughs> when Kenna Kenna came out in 2016, like uh, about like what, two weeks, a week or two after this ended, and I saw the freaking ish and everything, and I was just like, yes, I'm going to react to it and stuff. I, a lot of us had already knew and shipped the hell, even Toei, because they were like, yes, let's pay homage to Sailor Moon once again, especially with these two, because there was so much artwork doing the same exact things as Uranus and Neptune. But, you know, whenever we do rewatch Kira Kira, which I'm probably going to do that next after both this, and yes, because I think if Kira Kira is going to be next, I think I know what's going to be after, um... Yes. If you know me, you, you <laughs> it's very obvious of what it might be because besides Kitta Kitta, but um I can't say. I, I could but I'm not. I can't say it because then it would be it'll be obvious on which one it is, but like like I said, we'll talk about that more when we get to the end of it. But I mean guys literally having an episode that still focuses on Mirai and Rico, but this was like still to me because Rico really loves and cares for this city and her little this little small town, not a city, so freaking much. It feels more like a Rico based episode than a Mirai a focus episode with like hints of Mirai in it because majority the reason why they're going there is because oh hey we have to go shopping for you and such we have to get you materials because eventually you're gonna start school just as much as me and anyone else and eventually you need to get all these things but i mean yeah 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 the funny thing is one thing i really forgot to say about rico she gives me and i probably did say this i don't know like hella hermione vibes but if Hermione was not as the smartest witch as she is in the Harry Potter series, where it's like, oh yeah, she makes mistakes, da da da, this is not there. That is Rico in a nutshell, because Rico is just this type of character who wants to always make things right. She wants to be the smartest person in the room, even though sometimes it doesn't always work in her favor, per se, and such. And I get it, she wants to, um, 
be honored by her headmaster and that's why she's looking for the emerald stones but at the same time it's also wondering like what it's going to cost her going on this mission and such because i mean anything can happen every single freaking episode that you're with your girlfriend and such until you know eventually you meet your kid the kid we can't talk about the kid yet but you know she coming <laughs> There's another reason on why we can't talk about the kid yet. Um, <laughs> all, all I will say is, um, she's in a lot of things that I watch her say you. It's very obvious who it is. Uh, anytime when I see you here, uh, I cannot speak. Anytime when I hear this say you, um, I fangirl way too much because she's my fave that is the hint that i will give you she's been in a lot of fucking things she is working her ass off hint hint nudge nudge she was in like a lot of things in freaking winter and i feel like she's going to be in a lot of things for the next couple seasons hell the one thing that she's really going to be in ain't coming in until my birthday month is, i think yeah i think so but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and okay no, no no here's the other thing i got her character in genshin finally and I cried. <laughs> but that's all I will say. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay. Episode four in three, two, one, go. <clears throat> I should have got water. It's okay. I'll get water before I record sake. <laughs> The mom. Rico the mommy. <laughs> That's like the forbidden section, baby. We don't go there. Hey, big boy. You go lay down. So you must never ever go in there. She's coming. <laughs> week one going into week two on this show um i've only gotten like for this series i have not gotten any um but for yes go go i've only gotten like one and that's only because somebody asked me like haven't you seen this one before or no it was really you haven't seen this one and i was like i've seen it i just don't remember it it's been a long freaking time this is 2008 I was super busy with school at the time, barely was, like, I think at the time, Yes was the only, Pretty Care was the only thing I was watching and a couple other things. I think I was rewatching Marie and Melody for, like, the bazillion time with a friend and then several other things. I was busy. That was, like, that was middle school DJ going into high school. So I was hella busy at that time. I had too many, like, freaking tests and everything else and i was reading too too much <laughs> way too much to the point that I, I read too much now too oh my god hell i watch anime too much too but hey that's you know but the passion because sometimes i even wonder how the fuck i do it There goes the dog.
Now, like, my biggest thing was, okay, so you see the one that looks like the moon, the one that's on the left from the moon, and then the farthest left from the moon. Those ones, like, I don't remember if they initially share them all together. Because there's one, th there's the other ones that are is the exact same as Emerald. And that's, of course, my best girl. She automatically gets those. And I think for the other ones, Mirai and Rico, they both share those ones. I'm guessing from Ish. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can't tell them about that. It's a big no-no. We can't tell anyone that we're pretty curious. It's very dangerous. We know so. <laughs> now, it is very obvious, if you have not seen Little Witch Academia, um, that the blue-haired gives you hella Amanda vibes. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think we can all say that Mina is just Akko in a nutshell as well. No. <laughs> Catch the butterflies. You better hurry. And you three will be paired together. I love how they're just out here just shouting it out, thinking like the butterfly paper is just going to come out and be like, yes, I'm right here. See, listen to Rico. <laughs> okay, now to sneak up on them, like, you know, in Animal Crossing, make sure you have that fucking butterfly fucking net and just... Mm. <laughs> and there they go.
Oh, honey. <sighs> Rico. No, not at all. Not the bug. <laughs> oh. Easy, huh? Shouldn't it be better that we stay together so you don't get lost? Standing there, menacingly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's not the one it wants. And there it goes. Mm, the hesitation. Maybe I shouldn't go in there. But they nope. Mm -mm. Your destiny awaits. Going to like the biggest freaking library in the world and getting lost. That's what that is. The moments that these two have together are just so fucking precious. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just because you're so used to being by yourself that... You feel some type of way of having her around. So you just have to, you know, get used to being, you know, buddy buddy with your girlfriend. Oh, is it? I love it. That's what I love about her.
At least it ain't Kappa. Kappa? Kappa? Kappa. Fucking Kappa from Star Trek. <laughs> but <laughs> all I'm gonna get to is Turtle Life. Oh my god. Or, no, I get Squirtle Life. <laughs> Curry Regal. Because <laughs> ah. in that moment, why didn't she just pull her out? I mean, because so, uh, like, even at that time when I watched this, I was like, why didn't she just pull her out? It would have been so easy. See, like that, except it would have been the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'll see. You just gotta do this first. I will say this, like, movie-wise, especially, like, All-Stars, and I'll even say All-Stars F, even though it has not come out yet. If they do, well, no, it's confirmed that everybody is coming back. Look at how many times in any of the All-Star movies that these two are in, how many times they use the other outfits. To me, it's kind of barely, but, of course, with the series, they're using it, like, at least in every single episode, because there's different moments that they can use them in. Movie wise, it's eh. I can't say that, like from what I remember from their movie, they use their outfits like a lot more.
the fact that she already knew too. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> no, sad day. Poor turtle. <laughs> the buck. Mm -hmm, but the buck. Oh my god. Ah, 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 yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny because literally hearing her girl just like yawn for a moment, like and I can't I can mm, you know, yeah, because see I wanted to say this with L. Um but I'm going to say this now. It feels like to me, especially when it's like using the baby baby voices for these characters sometimes before they go into like other forms, they all use the same like sounds and stuff. So it has, you have to kind of look at the very first baby character for this show or this series. And that has to be all the way back to Doki. Yes. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but at the same time, like, when I listen to Elle, and when she does, like, her little, eh, I can't do it right. <laughs> um, but you you hear um, Kaguya-sama's VA. With the, I can't say her name! 
Oh my god. Okay. So with this, I don't necessarily hear my queen. Um, we'll say it like that. I like you really don't hear her speak speak until no, we can't talk about that yet. Until like a couple more episodes later on. No, maybe when I hear her cry again next week, it might be different. Because the goal is to watch the next two episodes tomorrow. I mean, okay. Now, this also felt more like a... Mm, more Rico, in my opinion. But a little bit more Mirai. Because, I mean, guys... Once again, the whole series is in the POV of... Well, I would like to say no, it's more in Mirai and Rico because it's not like with Princess, it was all Haruka or Kira Kira. It was the POV of Ichika because, of course... Or like with Delicious, it was Yui always being the one who would um, open the episode up or it wouldn't be like Manatsu... Or, well, no, because Laura never did an episode where she was opening up. But uh, I digress and such. But mainly, yeah, it felt more like a Minai episode with a little bit of Rico sprinkled in there. Because, of course, Rico, once again, she's not the typical, like, okay, I know this. Well, no. Once she get, we all know. Rico is the know-it-all. She is the mommy of the group. She's always going to be very hard and stern on her girlfriend. And that is okay. You can. You can wear the pants in the group. We all know that Rico wears the freaking pants in the group of this duo and such. And that's what I really, you know, once again, love about these duo series. Is that I can't speak. We get that equal focus on everybody before the final cure comes in and kind of like not really messes up the uh, the trying the balance but just you know inserts their way into it because like I said I think kind of really after when Kira Kira came in that was the start of how the fuck are y'all going to do this with insert characters all in one episode and such and you got to give everybody that main focus and I think it, it continued all the way to a point when we got into like healing good and that's why like a lot of people really despise um cure earth because a lot of people think mainly i don't think it in my opinion i probably did when i finished it even though, but i was biased because cure earth was one of my favorites um cure earth literally just came in and like stole the show and so especially like chiyu and he hinata especially hinata who was sparkle like got the least amount of focus and due to the covid situation stuff like that majority of her episodes were definitely taken out so I think a lot of people who were very big big fans of hers felt very um taken advantage of because it was like you know how when you're looking at every single cure in an episode from beginning to end and you're looking at the show overall and you feel like there's always either that one or two that should have gotten a little bit more and such and this is also why like it, it's really funny to see the biggest thing to me is like when we get into a new series and we all want to see like who from like older series or seasons are going to pop into the newer seasons because it feels like to me anyone who's worked on like older seasons like from Futariwa to Yes to um Fresh to Smile any of them like I, I mean because we can say anything like I, I will say all the seasons are old, you know, in my opinion, because even if it's like only a year old, but certain people who've worked on from Futaliwa to a certain one and they come back to work on the newer seasons and they say like it, it's about when you have different heads and stuff and think about like with companies, um, when you have someone who is like a head honcho who's been there for the longest time and they're still good at what they're doing, but necessarily there are points where they're not as good as what they used to be so then they have someone else step in and that new person has all these brand new ideas and everything and sometimes 50 out of 50 those brand new ideas do work and those brand new ideas don't work you know how like in the first two episodes I said this is where we kind of got the start of where we always use magic wands 
instead of full on fist fist fight <laughs> fist society <laughs> fist fighting um ass kicking and such and I feel like that was the change especially like when we go into eventually go princess and looking at you know um anything after this series going back into Kira you can tell the big difference of oh hey remember when freaking beat was up here freaking beat and cure melody was over here kicking some ass and then you go into the newer seasons, except, you know, Hiragato and a couple others, where it's like, no, okay, we're going to use the magic fucking wine as our main thing. We're not, we're going to have maybe like a couple of moments where it's like, here's a punch, here's a kick, whatever, and such. But yeah, definitely really go check that out because you can see just like, and, and I hate to say it, like kind of the downgrade. Now they've upgraded and gone back into, yes, let's make time for using a magic wand versus kicking with our feet and our hands and everything. But something also tells me, and I'm going to also say this now, and eventually when we get back into it with Hiragato, once all four, so freaking Sky, Prism, um, Wing, and Butterfly, and then we can also say uh, Majesty. Once all four going on to five come in and every single one has their wine, mark my freaking words, the freaking choreographs and everything, it's going to kind of go down. Maybe. I'm not really 100% sure on that, but mark my fucking words because it always freaking happens by the time they get their freaking weapon. Now, like with Tropical Rouge, they mixed that up. That's why I felt like Tropical Rouge did more better in like the hand-to-hand -hand combat and literally said, let's take the magical girl weapon and put that is down a little bit. But I mean, regardless, you know, whatever happens in the rest of Hidagata, we won't see that until, you know, the next up and coming weeks. Because, you know, hey, tomorrow, Wing Baby is coming. But by the time y'all all will see this, we'll be past that. So probably I will be a fangirling hot mess when he has his transformation scene officially as of tomorrow night. <laughs> Knowing myself. I will cry over that baby bird because I love him so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes three and four of Mahot Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.